Well, hi, music lovers, and welcome back to the Showroom Sessions, where we present wonderful music streaming live from Piedmont Piano Company right here in Oakland, California. My name is Jim Callahan. I'm the owner of Piedmont Piano Company. Tonight, we're pleased to have wonderful jazz trio, Larry Vukovic, Kai Lyons, and Jeff Chambers. Uh, and before we start the show, I want to tell you about uh, upcoming shows. This coming Thursday, uh, we're going to take the day off, and we'll be back a week from today, Sunday, with uh, Mark Hummel, the uh, blues harmonica virtuoso. Um, and uh, following that show, uh, we're going to have Tammy Hall and Kim Nally, uh, jazz violinist Jeremy Cohen with Larry Dunlop on piano, uh, Tiffany Austin, Royal Jelly Jive, Lady Bianca, Victoria Theodore, Edward Simon, and many more are coming up. All of our shows are at 5 p.m. Uh, we'd love to tell you about our shows in advance, and if you join our email list, uh, we'll let you know about everything that's coming up. You can do that by going to our website, piedmontpiano.com. You can also like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to us on YouTube, and we'll let you know about everything that's coming up. Well, as always, we have wonderful pianos for sale. You see some of them here behind me, but we got a whole store full, uprights, grands, uh, digitals, acoustics. Uh, something for you, even though uh, the store is closed, we are open by appointment. We're delivering a lot of pianos, and we'd like to deliver one to you, too. Uh, call us, email us, uh, and let us know what you're looking for. We probably have it. So um, uh, I want to mention uh, that we're the, the show, of course, is free tonight, but we're always requesting donations for, our, for the musicians. You'll see the links on whatever platform you're watching on. You'll see the links to donate. So we're going to ask you, please give generously to these musicians. Uh, their live gigs have all been canceled. Uh, they're doing their best to survive, take care of their families. Uh, they really need your help. So please give generously to these musicians. 100% of anything that you give will go directly to the performers that you see tonight. So with any, without any further ado, uh, let's start the show. Uh, here, um, uh, we're very pleased to have returning uh, Larry Bukovic on piano. Kai Lyons on guitar, and Jeff Chambers on bass. Let's give them a warm, a very warm virtual welcome. Take it away. Enjoy.
Sunday afternoon. Thank you very much for tuning in. A short warm-up with a, a classic selection by Vincent Yeomans. He wrote some great tunes. Um, see, More Than You Know, T for Two. This is Sometimes I'm Happy. Benny Goodman had a big hit, and of course, later, you had Lester Young, Nat King Cole. Was this was a tribute to Nat King Cole? He was the first to form the unit of a jazz trio. Later, you had modern trios with Bud Powell, Max Roach, Ray Brown, piano, bass, and drums. But in the late 30s, you had piano, guitar, and bass. And Nat King Cole was the originator and the master, and later. We'll do a selection telling you how he switched from piano to singing. A little interesting story some of you may know. Uh, next piece, Oscar Peterson, right after that in the 40s, had a powerful trio with Ray Brown and Herb Ellis. And next tune is Oscar's version of Sweet Georgia Brown. Thank you. 
how about these cats, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, John Hendricks, the great poet laureate, had so many expressions. He came up on the spot. I was the only non-African American in the Evolution Blue Show. He said, if you're wondering where Brother Vukovic, why is he here? He comes from that part of Yugoslavia known as Montenegro. And Montenegro does have a lot of these blue notes in the area. So anyway, when it comes to swing, John would always tell the trio, dig a hole. And what does it mean? You're stomping so hard, you're swinging, you're digging a hole. Yeah, well, you got to have that. And uh, the famous jazz critic, Leonard Feather, John on the spot created a name. He called him Learned Father. Anyway, that was Sweet Georgia Brown. And next we go to Tenderly. It was recorded early at first with Sarah Vaughan in the late 40s, 46, 47. Composer Walter Gross, great pianist. And check out a movie. In 53, it came on a map. MGM film, Torch Song. Joan Crawford plays a song and dance lady. Her accompanist is this blind English Pianist, he wasn't really blind in the movie, uh, Michael Wilding, and the piano score is Walter Gross, beautiful, Gross. So then later, Rosemary Clooney does it, and um, it becomes a big hit. So here is Tenderly. Thank you. 
about this beautiful Italian instrument, Fazioli, and thanks to Jim Callahan for presenting the concerts and having the vision to have the best pianos in the world. You got Blutner's, Bosendorfer's, Steinway's, Yamaha's, everything. On the bass, one of the versatile veterans played with so many great names, Mr. Jeff Chambers, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, and very talented young cat. In all the years I've been in San Francisco, this cat is one of the strongest I've ever heard. A versatile, speaks fluent Spanish. Give him a test when you see him. Kai Lyons, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, I'm Larry Vukovic, and we'll continue with the music. Uh, what is interesting, just as a quick remark of singers, I was a house pianist, Channel 7, from 74 to 84 before I went to New York. Joe Williams would come, they would call, Tony Bennett, Rosemary Clooney. And Rosemary said just, she had a hit on this. She simply said, no music, B flat. See, real singers don't need charts, really. They just have the instrument. Charlie Parker takes the horn, Lester Young, you just play. You know, singers that have a complicated charts, it has a point, but to have a gig with singers complicated reading charts, forget it, man. That ain't the real feeling as far as I'm concerned. That's my opinion. Thank you. Next, a gentleman whose first trio was, again, piano, guitar, bass, Vince Guaraldi, Eddie Duran, Dean Riley, beautiful trio records. Vince was a good composer, really good. This is based on his stay in Tokyo during the army. Ginza Samba. Ginza is a district of Tokyo. <laughs> Thank you. 
acoustic bass, double bass, was always a rhythm instrument, and one of the earliest soloists was a great young Jimmy Blanton who died from tuberculosis. So many young people did, they didn't have a cure. Also great uh, guitarist, Charlie Christian. And Jimmy Blanton, next inheritor was Oscar Pettiford. He was the first bebop bassist. Then you have Ray Brown and Paul Chambers, Doug Watkins, so many others. So it became, however, all those guys played rhythm. Jess Chambers is a great soloist, but he lays down the groove. That's right. There you go, Jeff. Um, studying with Vince, Vince Guaraldi, I was his only student and fortunate, you know, go to his house, he would play all the records, introduce me to things. And in his recordings, he always loved Billy Strayhorn. And Strayhorn was the first to bring uh, Ravel and Debussy to the piano, bring impressionistic whole tone scales and those certain voicings. Uh, that's great Billy Strayhorn. Here is a classic song Vince recorded, Flower is a Love Something, and I did this with Jackie Ryan. We are on the same album with Jeff Passion, Flower, another one. This is Flower is a Love Something. Thank you. 
Kai Lyons on the guitar, Billy Strayhorn. Ahmad Jamal had a style of his own, played great rich harmonies, choral style. At the same time, he had a very light touch. And he played the high register, crisp single lines, and Miles told Red Garland, listen to Ahmad Jamal. Get some of those ideas. So Red Garland wrote a tune, Blues for Ahmad, but on his solos, Red started going to the upper register and played crisp, beautiful lines with great rhythm. Anyway, and Ahmad was a special, and Jeff Chambers worked with Ahmad Jamal. Uh, this is a tune that he recorded. It was a hit called Perfidia. And also he introduced guitar as a conga, bongo rhythm instrument, and Kai Lyons will demonstrate it. So here is Perfidia.
like that ring. Ama Jamal, great pianist and special stylist. If you checked my email, the title of today's program was Groovy Sunday. Creating a groove, not gloomy Sunday. That was a Hungarian song where some people committed suicide. It was so sad. No, we want to be upbeat, especially during these difficult times. Groovy Sunday. Speaking of being upbeat during these times, um, as everybody knows, so many gigs have been lost by musicians, but thank God for streaming. I stream at home every Saturday. Basically, I'll be back next week, and we're streaming here. Other people, thank you to the Jazz Universe for the streaming programs, and there is a PayPal donation, I have to say it, on the screen of this program. Anything you can do, we would appreciate it. Thank you. But we love the music and we will continue. Next is a Dizzy Gillespie classic for the big band and small group called Al. Bebop tune and in the middle I put together some riffs to showcase little solos by Jeff Chambers. And those riffs I can say thank you Charlie Parker. They're all Charlie Parker lines kind of you know i mean he created all the bebop language that's right what was that shout course. yeah shout course and charlie parker lines and here is ow <laughs>
the old cats not only played great intellectually down to earth, but they loved humor. Sometimes young guys today on the bandstand, depends, but for a while it was, they stood so serious like it was a funeral. Come on, you gotta have fun, man. There was a great uh, saxophonist, Chuck Travis, who played with many famous bands, and he would have always something individual. I said, Chuck, what key is it? He said, si, senor. Or another one, what key is it? G, baby. <laughs> anyway, uh, my son, Alexi, has some great coffees, and one of them is called Sumatra. So sometimes I ask people, oh, maybe a little silly, uh, who was the most famous singer in Indonesia? They don't know. It's, it was Frank Sumatra. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeff and I used to work with Omar Clay, and sometimes I would come up with some things, and Omar would just look at me. <laughs> okay, let me see how we're we doing. With uh, the, the Russians and the Slavs, when it came to time, they say, what clock it is, means what clock it is. Ah, we still have some clock. Okay. I think uh, I'll throw in a little brief solos. This, this is so beautiful. Piano of Serenade in Blue in a different key. If you go to my website, go to the menu and see media, media and look for video. And Tom Harrell and I recorded this for PBS, a really nice version, Serenade in Blue. Harry Warren, Italian name, Oh, yeah, Guarana. Let me see the first name. I'll think of it. First name was Salvatore, Harry Warren. Uh, great recordings by this Mr. B. And Dexter, of course, being Mr. B's first bebop, uh, bebop band, did a wonderful record playing bebop lines. Bebop is a romantic music besides hard swinging, groovy, bluesy, everything. 
And let's uh, tell you a little quick story. Nat King Cole never sang. He was playing with the trio, and one night there was a drunk in the bar. Hey, you got to sing a song. He, he was trying to tell him, no, I don't sing. He, he wouldn't leave him alone. Let him go. So Nat King Cole picked Sweet Lorraine, and it became a big hit. And we'd like to dedicate this tune. We recorded it on the Young at Heart album with Jules Broussard, Noel Jukes, Harold Jones, and Father Nat Johnson. He was Nat Johnson, now his father Nathaniel Johnson. He's the only priest in America, the black American priest in the Greek archdiocese tradition. Father Nathaniel, another singer that my brother, he loved both Nat and Steve Siddham. They both sang this tune. So we'll give you a short version of uh, Sweet Lorraine.
classic, Sweet Lorraine. Thank you, Nat King Cole. Couple more selections. Uh, so you don't feel we only play swing, which we love. That's the basis. Here is something with a Middle Eastern touch. Balkan, Arabic, Klezmer, Gypsy Roma. It's called Belgrade Blues. It has those scales. Now what you need with those scales. You need to drink Turkish coffee, baklava, halva. Ah, it makes the music go better. Thank you. 